Day number 64, Captain's Log. Hey! You guys thought I was going crazy, didn't you? Mm, you may be only partially wrong. Um, Alright, so, Monday. Northeast Ohio, very beautiful, overcast, rainy kind of crap Monday. Um, here's what we have for today. Uh, we're going to do three five-minute AMRAPs. We are going to do a couplet in each of those five-minute AMRAPs with a two-minute rest in between. And each five-minute AMRAP will have a different combination of movements. Three total movements overall. Pistols, thrusters, I'm going to program this with dumbbells, and finally, dumbbell plank rows. All right, stick around. I'll explain everything in a second. Hey, hey, hey. All right, so as you guys just saw on the explanation screen there, uh, first five minute AMRAP is gonna be 10 pistols, five and five each side. I want you guys to alternate, so one, two, three, four, 10. And then same idea for the dumbbell plank rows, all right? Um, one arm, one arm, one, two, all right? So neither one of these are one and one, they're both one and two, okay? Um, for the demonstration, pistols, full squat, one leg, opposite foot out in front. You can hold on to that front leg, you do not have to. All right, dumbbell plank rows. If I have two dumbbells, which is how we're going to prescribe this, one rep and then two. All right, um, talking about modifications in a minute. The third movement that's going to start to appear in the second AMRAP is going to be a dumbbell thruster. So I'm going to take my two dumbbells, stack them in a front rack position, full squat, to an extension and press overhead. Make sure as we're coming up and extending the hips out of that squat, that's the energy that's carrying into those dumbbells to finish that rep. All right. So to review, five minute AMRAP, 10 alternating pistols, 10 alternating dumbbell plank rows, two minute rest. Once you guys finish each five minute AMRAP, that score is over with, all right? Everyone's gonna be a new. Second five minute AMRAP is gonna be 10 pistols again, combined with 10 dumbbell thrusters. Two minute rest, third five minute AMRAP, this time 10 dumbbell thrusters and 10 dumbbell plank rows, all right? So three movements, three AMRAPs, three different scores, get at it. Stay tuned for movement modifications. All right, guys, we're talking modifications. First things first, pistols. A full pistol is a full range of motion squat on one side, opposite leg out in front. Now, when we are modifying or scaling the pistol back, one of the biggest pieces we need to realize is, is my issue the strength that it takes to stabilize control and do the pistol squat or am I not flexible mobile enough to get to the position I need to get to if it's the latter there's not much you can do in that moment other than making adjustments and using assistance like maybe holding on to a TRX or a set of rings so that you can sit back into the pistol a little bit more all right maybe changing the angle a little bit and trying to do a single leg squat with the leg behind instead of the leg out in front. All right. If it's a strength issue, the biggest thing that most people probably are going to do to modify this or scale it is to shorten the range of motion. Find a desk chair, find a bench, find a box, whatever. Heck, even a wall ball will work. Anything that takes the position you're not strong enough to get to and out of raises it up a little bit, just like if we were modifying a push up or handstand push-up, okay? Now, with the dumbbell plank rows, a couple different ways we can do all this, all right? Ideally, we have two dumbbells. If we only have one dumbbell, it's pretty simple. I'm gonna set that dumbbell in the middle of my chest. I'm going to stabilize with the offhand row, and then I'm going to transition and switch 
hands. Now, if I only have a kettlebell, which is obviously long and it's going to put me in this awkward position at the bottom where this is where I'm rowing from, you can do that or you can prop yourself up. Let's say if this was a coffee table, now all of a sudden my level position is enough space for me to be able to extend the arm and allow the kettlebell to touch the ground. In which case, I'm going to do the same thing I did with this dumbbell, just with a kettlebell in an elevated position. Okay. Now, what if we only have a barbell? All right, this is where it'll get a little bit tricky, and it's more or less going to be just changing the movement. So, there's a couple different things we can do. Obviously, one of those things is going to be a bent over row. Okay. We could also modify it to a completely different type of pulling movement, do a ring row, um, an inverted row, something hanging back that requires body weight that's actually getting pulled as opposed to an external load, okay? One other creative thing that you could try and do, I'm gonna make sure I set this up in a way that you guys can see it, is I take this pipe, let's simulate a barbell here, and I'm gonna extend it off to the side and set it up in a landmine type position, okay? And then from there, I'm going to position myself in that plank position and row the edge or row the end of the barbell like I would pull the landmine bar up off the ground. All right. Obviously, in this case, if I'm doing 10 reps, it's going to have to be five, and then I'm going to switch around and do five on the other side. All right. But it is doable. Um, what happens if I only have a band? Well, obviously, we can do pulling movements if we anchor the band. One of my favorite subs here is, if I only have a band, is to get myself in a side plank position, probably would prefer form, and I'm gonna attach the band perpendicular to my torso. From there, I'm going to row while holding myself in the side plank position, okay? Uh, forces us to engage, activate, utilize our core. At the same time, we're doing the pulling movement and just generally having to have more control and capacity to do the work. Last thing is gonna be that thruster. One thing we can do, kettlebell or single dumbbell, is just do single arm reps, in which case I could do all 10, 10 the other side if it's super late. I can do five, five, whatever, but it's probably not gonna be a switch back and forth every rep. Uh, if I only have a barbell, obviously this is one that's pretty common for people, a barbell thruster rep. Uh, and then lastly, if I only have a band, believe it or not, I can utilize a band to still accomplish a thruster by squatting inside of it, driving the hips to extension, and pressing overhead. So don't think, just because you guys don't have the equipment that it's being programmed for, that you can accomplish the same workout and the same principles. Okay? Have fun.